today I want to show you a little board that I've created that allows you to charge your PS4 controller through the EXT port. As you can see this is a very small board so let's take a closer look. At this point I just wanted to say that you'll find all the sources you need to make one of these for yourself in the description along with an article that goes through things in a bit more depth. This board supports either a USB Type-C port or a micro USB port depending on your preference. At the top you'll see two pads for resistors and these are there in case you're using a smart charger which requires them. The port you choose is a sole component on the other side of the board. So let's take a look now at one that I've already soldered just so you can see what a completed board looks like. So if we start with the back of the board, now because I'm using a USB Type-C port, the jumpers at the bottom have been bridged from the centre to the left hand pad. You want to bridge the centre and the right hand pads if you're using micro USB. The two resistor pads here are not populated because I'm not using a smart charger. Before we take a look at the board in action, just a reminder that you can find all the sources you need to have one of these made for yourself in the description of the video. To use the board, simply plug it into the EXT connector, which is found on the edge of the controller between the analog sticks. Make sure that the USB port is on the top of the board. The board's held in by friction, but it should be quite a tight fit. And now plugging in the charging cable, we should see, yep, and there we go, the orange light's flashing because the controller's now charging. So you might be wondering, why would you want one of these boards? I created this board because it's a great way to diagnose issues with the internal micro USB port of the controller without even having to open it up. It could also be useful if you wanted to add USB Type-C charging to your controller, again without having to open it or make any physical modifications to the shell. I've certainly found it useful and I wanted to share this just in case anyone else would benefit from it as well. You'll find everything you need in the description. So I hope you like this video, thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll stick around for the next one.